So I'm just going to go ahead and say this since nobody will and the crew members can't. NCL, you suck. I'm going to make this video very straightforward and blunt because I have a flight to catch to go to Mexico in about an hour and a half. So here's the deal that's going on with NCL or Norwegian Cruise Line. And just keep in mind while I speak on this, for many of you that may not know, I am a former employee or crew member for NCL. Now, I don't hate NCL in any kind of way, well, at least up until this point, because this is, in my opinion, absolutely horrible. So in breaking news, while well, this has gone on for the past couple days, lots of talks, NCL is removing what's known as guest privileges for the crew members that once had them. For many of you that don't know, guest privileges is something that is awarded to certain crew members. Typically, it would be the officers, the entertainment, and the rest of the high-ranking crew members, or the vets that have been working for the company and have been loyal to the company for years and years, especially during the pandemic, which I'm going to touch on in this video. So moving forward, NCL has said because they want to ensure that their guests have the best experience, they are now going to not allow moving forward any of the crew members guest privileges by that I mean being able to go to any of the restaurants on board the guests can go to the nightclubs that the guests can go to any of the events unless you have two stripes or equivalent. Now, I will say, on one end, I understand the higher-ranking members being able to be allotted these privileges, and they are privileges, not a right. This is something that was always said no matter what cruise line you work for, being granted shore leave and all of this stuff. But you have to look at, first of all, what has happened prior to all this. We did recently experience a pandemic. I don't know if all of you were there, but I definitely were. You had crew members that were stuck on board cruise ships for six months without being able to access things like the gym, without being able to be social, without being able to really live a somewhat normal life or as best as normal life as you can on board a cruise ship. You have a lot of crew members that stuck it out for you, NCL, that was sitting at home without getting paid. They didn't go apply for another cruise line to work for. They didn't badmouth you they didn't do anything yet a year later when the cruise ship industry comes back for whatever reason or well as you say your reason for doing this is because you want your guests to have the ultimate experience now this is something i've always said as a former crew member that has worked for ncl of course i also for a br very brief time worked for carnival and virgin as well this is um this is sad. This is absolutely sad to see. Now, I do understand that many of you that are guests that watch my videos here, you are not going to understand. The first thing you are going to say is that, well, you are here to work. You are not entitled to being able to experience what the guests are paying for on their vacation. To a certain extent, you are right, but understand this. We are people at the end of the day, and when you are on board a cruise ship and you are working every day for 10 hours a day and you are busting your butt, you got to wonder, what the hell am I doing here? I'm away from my friends. I'm away from my family. I had to drop my life for six months to nine months, come out here just to help a company make some profit, and what do I get for it? I believe these benefits and these privileges, like I said, they are privileges. However, you can't give somebody something and then just take it away, especially when they've had set privileges for years and years and years. It just does not make any sense. Now, I do hate that I have to make this rant because I'm not going to BS any of you. This is exactly what this is. I'm, not, I'm just going to say it. This is bullshit. It really is. The fact that NCL is coming out here and saying that they're going to do what they can for the guests, and I will say that NCL is without a doubt one of the strictest cruise lines out there like i told you guys before i did work for ncl and one thing that they stress more than any other cruise line to the crew is that the guests come first this is something we all know however i don't believe that is always correct i believe on a cruise ship happy crew happy ship and it didn't go any other way it should not go any other way the fact that they are coming around here and making sure that the guests are the only priority on board doesn't make any sense. Remember whenever there is an emergency, there's some type of change or situation to your cruise, what is the first thing that they typically say? 
The priority is the safety of all of our guests and crew. And you're going to say this isn't a safety matter. Yes, it is. Remember during the pandemic and you had a lot of crew members that were stuck inside of their room, no privileges, no shore leave, nothing of that nature, even after cruising resumed after the pandemic or, well, even during the pandemic, you know what I mean, whenever we actually resumed operations. You had crew members that were going mentally insane. Do you have any idea how many crew members ended up, unfortunately, taking their own lives due to them being stressed out because of everything that is going on? I'm not trying to make this some doom and gloom, but when it comes to stuff like this, I do believe that the cruise lines do have a priority to their crew to make sure they are happy as possible. Now, the reality is that the world is not fair. I truly believe that. And at the end of the day, there are some things you are just going to have to suck up and deal with. There are some crew members on board that never, ever basically see the light of day. By that, I mean they never go to the crew area. However, when you give somebody a privilege like that and you take it away for virtually no good reason other than the fact that you are trying to give the guest a better experience, what kind of BS is that? Now, this is not the first time something like this has happened when it comes to NCL. Back when I worked on board the NCL Escape, I have to admit I had a pretty good life on board. I had a room steward that would come clean my room. I had room service. I had guest privileges. Now, when it came to shore leave, apparently there was something that happened years prior because we would go do three days over in Bermuda. And we would always ask, well, if we are not working, can we stay at an Airbnb or just kind of relax on the island for the night and return in the morning they said no because one person kind of messed it up for everybody else i'm assuming this is a similar situation that we are dealing with i have heard some things through the grapevine but until i get them confirmed i'm not going to tell any of you guys but just keep in mind as somebody is a former employee for ncl i do have a lot of friends believe it or not that are still working for the company on board the ncl prima on the encore on the joy and I got to tell you, what I'm hearing right now is absolutely disappointing. Now, keep in mind, this is two stripes or equivalent that will still be a lot of these privileges. Everybody else has to do some paperwork and sign up to be able to have some type of guest privileges. By that meaning, you have to, if you want to go to, let's say, Oceans on the older ships, if you want to go to any of the restaurants, you want to go out on night on the town or on the ship and go have a margarita, well, you have to sign up for it. And NCL at this point in time has not made it clear what exactly that entails is there a certain amount is there a magical number of people that are going to be allowed to get off of the cruise ship it just doesn't make any sense and it's absolutely confusing and for me it's extremely infuriating now i do want to be clear i don't hate ncl from a guest perspective obviously they're one of the largest cruise lines in the world they're very successful they have somewhat of a good product but even when i was on the ncl prima recently for a 10-day cruise over in europe and hanging out with some old friends that i haven't seen in years the formula is still overall just the same with NCL. For a guest, from their perspective, it might seem like, well, the crew are so well behaved and they're so professional. It's because they are, are walking on pens and needles 24-7, wondering if they're going to get fired. Because I promise you that's what the environment is like overall for NCL. I don't know how many of my friends got fired for virtually nothing while working on board the ship. And I remember we used to have a, uh, a party. So there's the crew bar, right? And then we had a crew party once a month. Here's what NCL used to do. We would have a crew party and they would give us all types of drinks and beverages and say, hey, everybody have a good time. Enjoy yourself. Relax. You've worked hard. Just, you know, be careful about it. Right. And then sure enough, the next day, what do we get? Random drug and alcohol test. Now, on one end, as a seafarer, somebody that is in the maritime workforce, I understand that they want everybody to be on their P's and Q's. They want everybody to not be intoxicated and whatnot. But at the end of the day, we are still humans. People are going to have a good time. And when you throw something at people that have been working 10-hour shifts, seven days a week, every single day for six months, and they get an opportunity to relax and have some free drinks... Naturally, some people are going to take advantage, especially if they don't work the next day or maybe they work later in the evening. The fact that NCL is acting this way speaks volumes. And I'll tell you what's going to happen, NCL. You're going to have a lot of people starting to walk away. Keep in mind that you are not the only cruise line out there. You got cruise lines like Virgin Voyages, for example. They treat the crew extremely well. I would say Virgin is probably the best overall when it comes to the crew experience and work-life balance. The crew get free Wi-Fi. They are 
are able to go into the guest areas and there is no maximum amount of people that are supposed to be in these areas. One thing I've noticed about Virgin is that yeah, as somebody that has worked for them, they do tell you you have a maximum of five people that are allowed to gather in a certain area, otherwise you gotta go someplace else, but you will see up to 20 to 50 different crew members that have guest privileges in one particular area. And I gotta admit, it is the most beautiful and satisfying thing I have ever seen in my life. Satisfying, you, you know what I mean. Now I don't wanna keep this going, I literally have to get ready to call my Uber and head over to the airport. But NCL, man, what what the hell are you doing? I just, I, I for the life of me, I can't understand. The guests are still gonna have a great experience and the ones that are able to walk around, especially when it comes to like the entertainers and the people that have some true star power, by that I mean a big personality, they are only there to serve NCL. They are there to give the guests a better experience, whether they are performing or they are just out and about. I don't know how many times I've run into crew, whether they are friends or not, I've been talking to them Oftentimes I'm on cruise ships more than I talk to the guests and for the guests to be able to hang out with the crew and talk about them and get to know them, it's an experience that is absolutely unmatched. So for NCL to do this, I think it's absolute crap. I think it's BS, hogwash, gray water, trash, and it shouldn't happen. And if NCL doesn't retract this new ruling or, you know, this, this thing that they're doing here, it's going to end up bad. I truly believe that. But anyway, that's what I got, guys. I'm sorry for the rant. Actually, I'm not sorry. I think this is crap, but uh, hey, it is what it is. Take it how you want. This is no bash from a guest perspective when it comes to NCL, but NCL as a whole when it comes to this particular situation. Oh, and real quick, by the way, I do have my review of the Carnival Conquest coming out later today at 6 p.m. Eastern Time. Make sure you guys check that out. It was a doozy of a cruise. Very, very eventful. And I got to hang out with some of the crew, believe it or not, in the guest areas while I was there. Remember that, NCL. I appreciate you guys. Take it easy.